happens when you don't know how to love yourself? What happens when ordinary objects become weapons and subway tracks lure you into salvation? What happens when few glasses of whiskey are the only way you know how to go to sleep and your waking days are spent in privacy of bathroom stalls, making nooses out of belts? I was diagnosed with BPD in 2010 when I was 16. We don't know for sure what my family members or any of the people who are dead from suicide were suffering from or if they had any mental illness at all, but most do. And Borderline Personality Disorder, or BPD for short, uh, noticed or not, is a major contributor to these deaths. Our challenge is in finding innovative ways to disrupt the quietude that keeps this very profound connection between borderline psychopathology and suicidality underground. It has other features, chronic emptiness feeling dissociated out of your body, anger that's out of control, impulsivity, interpersonal chaos in your life, unstable mood, risky choices around drugs, food or sex, driving, even psychotic symptoms can happen. For most, they have a period of time when they lose the ability to understand what they're thinking or feeling, unable to imagine their own internal states or those of other people, their thoughts can become reality. I remember a young woman grieving the death of her four-year-old daughter who told me after multiple treatments that death was clearly the only option to end her agony. After I kill myself, I won't be in pain anymore. No, I corrected her. You won't be anything. You will not exist. You will be out of pain, but also out of life. I cannot stress enough how important it is that you show up for yourself. I believe you have to be your own best advocate. Absolutely, you need others to help carry you through this diagnosis. It is their wisdom that's helpful, it's priceless, and it pushes you to move toward recovery. But you will not get better without being on the front lines of your own treatment. There are those who care about you and show constant support. To my friends, to my family, to those I cherish, to you who were there when I could not love myself, I thank you for loving me anyway. Because for the longest time, I let my mental illness hold me back. I didn't do certain things. I didn't go after certain opportunities because I thought I would fail. And so let us dedicate our lives to this, to this unfinished work. Let us listen closer to the story of mental illness. Teach us how to live.